So critics of uh, something that you worked really hard on and that you put it so many years and months working on, it's always going to be uh, brutal. But one thing that I always try to keep in mind is that even if the comments sound ridiculous and they are really, really negative, uh, what can I make out of these comments? Is it something in the, the, in, the, in the manuscript that might have raised the reviewer's concerns? Is the concern actually reasonable? And if so, then what can I do to address it? If really the, 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 the comment of the reviewer makes no sense, then probably there is something in your manuscript that has kind of led uh, the person to, uh, to, to, to reach that conclusion. So the only really thing you can do is to try to find where this uh, specific thing is and try to correct it so to avoid uh, having this criticism from uh, other reviewers. The responding to reviewers, it, it is always the same, in a way, the same story. The, the, uh, to have a, your paper accepted, you need to really try to reply every comment and not to neglect them or push aside. My main advice for publishing is to not to, to trust the reviewers, to act as if the reviewers' best interest was to improve your paper, react to them constructively always, and always try to do what they suggest and try to hope that it improves your paper. Because your first reaction, because you put years of work into this paper and you reread it a gazillion and a half times and your advisor read it half a million times and you really think it's good and they come back with a remark and you're like, what an idiot they didn't understand or they're only saying that because they're nasty or they want to be cited or whatever. It's a natural reaction. Go and get drunk, sleep, run in the woods, do what gets over your own stress. Then come back and think, okay, I have to get these reviews to agree on this paper and chances are there are scientists like me or my boss who are just trying to do their job the best and just, you know, this is a misunderstanding. So every time it's not clear, it's your fault, clarify it. Every time a control could be added, add it. If it's, of course, a year of experiments, don't. But usually write very constructively. So to I think responding to reviewers is something <laughs> that you, you learn slowly that you should put aside what you think makes the best article, but to really try to incorporate all the comments and always be very diplomatic about, oh, that's a very good point that we forgot, even if it's something you thought about and you think is not really important for the other paper, you really have to take in account uh, as many as their comments. And of course, if something really doesn't make sense, then you can also explain why but try not to have too many answers like this because otherwise the editor is not going to like it. And if it's sent back to the reviewers to check again, they're really not going to like it if you don't take in consideration uh, their uh, their advice. And so, yeah, sometimes it's strange because you get one round of reviewers telling you to do something and you modify it and then it's sent to another journal with other reviewers who ask you to put it back the way it was before. So there, is, there isn't a real one way to mm -hmm. have your paper and but I think it's really something about uh, finding a, a, like a kind of equilibrium between what you want how you want to have your paper and what the reviewers are, are asking. Okay. And so my advice is to be persistent and uh, not to give up not to take a no for an answer because in my experience you know but you, you said the work is scientifically sound so there will be a way to publish it. And it may be that it will not be, you know, in your favorite journal, but still there will be a place which is hopefully then still accessible by the rest of the community where uh, your work will be featured. And sometimes uh, I even know some cases of people who got like uh, uh, some major revisions uh, and they thought that was a rejection and they didn't pursue until they one day, you know, opened their account and saw that actually their previous paper is still waiting for revisions. And so, but there are some cases where it's a rejection and of course you have to look at the reason for this rejection. But if this is based on some misunderstanding or some uh, problems of, uh, uh, yes, that, that can be fixed easily, then there's certainly a good uh, reason to uh, to try to uh, uh, fix these things and then uh, resubmit and, 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 and explain this to the editor. So there are no tricks for publishing a paper. It's all hard work. That's that's the point. How do you get your paper published? Most importantly, make a really good work. 
scientific uh, sound work should get published and it's just a matter of persistence.